Approximately 800 years in the past, young Bonnabelle Bubblegum rode around the post-apocalyptic wasteland on her yak, scouring for knickknacks and technology to bring back to her and Nettie's base. One of the locations she comes across is a gas station where she finds a mug and a family photo, items that further fuel her desire to have her own family. These are not the only belongings inside the building. A large array of miscellaneous items are strewn across the facility. The many details in the background design paint a vivid picture of the people who used to inhabit this gas station, and the ghostly remnants of these prior occupants can still be felt. This video will use the gas station from the episode Bonnabelle Bubblegum to examine how design elements can enhance a scene and create an entire secondary narrative in the background. The first thing we see is the sign for the gas station, riddled with bullet holes, implying a firefight took place nearby at some point. The animal skull dangling by string feels like a home ornament. It's something somebody had to take time to set up. It implies people are, or at least used to be here, and they most likely aren't the welcoming bunch. It's a decoration that states this location is occupied. Keep moving. There's also what appears to be a toy doll's arms partially buried in the sand, which adds to the creepy, off-putting ambiance of the place. Inside, among the heaps of junk, several things especially stood out for me. There are many posters of buff bodies adorning the walls, and a book on the ground which is likely about bodybuilding as it depicts muscle groups. One of the posters says nutrition, and there are containers of protein powder on the shelves. At least one of the people there had to have been a big bodybuilding fan. Another poster has a picture of a mushroom cloud with the words Never Forget scribbled on it, an obvious reference to the Mushroom War. The place is riddled with asbestos, but it was likely the only safe shelter available at the time. The mattress and boxes were used for throwing darts at, and sometimes a knife, likely an activity performed to pass the time. There is an engine on the counter, and the manner in which there's cloth under it makes me think it was being worked on. There's also a larger engine hanging from the ceiling, perhaps one that was fixed up, but has nothing to be used for. The refrigerator blocking the entrance is taped shut and has the biohazard symbol drawn on it, meaning it was used to store dangerous materials rather than food. The fridge has magnetic letters on it spelling out hungry, although the R has fallen to the ground. The residents had run out of food, something further indicated by the empty food cans. There's writing next to the fridge that says back soon, with the notation for hugs and kisses. Below it, in a distinctively different handwriting, are the words, please come back. There is writing that states, love didn't conquer all. And in the corner of the room, behind the safe, there's a human skull, still sporting hair lying there and collecting dust. With so many details strewn about, it's practically impossible not to have your imagination fill in the gaps to weave a story about what happened here. What my mind came up with was this couple and their niece, or perhaps just the uncle and niece, settled at this gas station to try and survive the day to day. They worked on engines, perhaps trying to secure a means of travel or simply set up a generator. Perhaps the uncle was a bodybuilding fan, or perhaps the young girl had dreams of becoming big and strong so she could protect her family. Over time, food resources began to deplete, and the uncle had to leave to search the wasteland for more food items and provisions to continue surviving. The note back soon hugs and kisses was left on the wall to serve as a comforting reminder. The mug was left in a prominent spot on the counter by the girl, serving as yet another reminder that the world's greatest uncle will eventually return. Other cups and bowls were cracked and damaged, but I think this one stayed in good condition because it wasn't being used. It simply served as a display to keep hope alive. The girl waited, but the uncle didn't return, and the girl began to experience despair. She passed away. I'd wager the skull is hers, the hair on it bears the most resemblance to her hairstyle. Perhaps before she died, she was the one who began to write, Love didn't conquer all on objects in her dwelling. Or it could have been even more tragic. The handwriting of this phrase looks similar to the note back soon, especially the ends. What if the uncle did eventually come back? Maybe something happened that kept him from returning promptly like planned, but he managed to overcome. And yet, when he finally did return, 
all that was left waiting for him was his niece's lifeless body. Perhaps the heartbroken uncle was the one to write, love didn't conquer all, and he left the mug untouched because he could not look at it without feeling immense guilt. We have no way to know what really transpired. It's possible none of the people in this photo even occupied the gas station. There are clues left behind, but the full story is lost to history. Despite the inevitable passage of time, the ghostly remnants still invoke our imaginations to fill in the gaps to this tragic narrative. Adventure Time always has impeccable scenic design, bursting with details and potential stories that played out when our eyes weren't on the screen. The gas station in the episode Bonnebel Bubblegum is one such phenomenal and haunting example of the stories that can be told in the background.